The upcoming Apple Glass is Apple's latest addition of another auxiliary device to its famed Apple ecosystem. These glasses will be using the up-and-coming Augmented Reality Technology, or AR for short. AR, which should not be confused with Virtual Reality, or VR, takes digital objects and systems and merges them with the natural world surrounding its user. VR, on the other hand, is a totally virtual world where users can interact with digital objects. Apple isn't the first one to realize the potential of AR-capable glasses. Both Google and Microsoft have also tried developing their own AR glasses. Google's Glass program was shut down back in 2015, primarily due to poor reception of the device by the public. Users didn't like the design. They thought it was bulky and overpriced. And in the end, most users admitted there was no need for such a device, at least back then. Microsoft HoloLens, on the other hand, is still under development and could offer Apple direct competition. Apple Glass should not be confused with Apple VR, which is a totally different product. Apple is also developing a mixed reality headset, but the details on that are really scarce. Apple Glass is totally an augmented reality device. Augmented reality itself is not something new either. Remember the famous Pokemon Go mobile game? It also used augmented reality to engage players and catch Pokemons. But Apple has a very different goal in mind with the Apple Glass. They want to make it part of your daily routine, so you can swipe through your messages as you eat your morning breakfast without touching your phone. Combined with other Apple devices, it could offer an excellent creative outlet for productivity, like using Apple Glass to visualize changing your house with a new decoration style. The rumor mill on the Apple Glasses has been running for months, so let us take a deeper look into what Apple Glasses has to offer when it finally does come out. Details about the Apple Glass the design philosophy with Apple Glass, according to Apple, is that they want to bring all the information from your phone to your face. Specifically, they are aiming for Apple Glass to synchronize with a wearer's iPhone to display things such as texts, emails, maps, and games over the user's field of vision. And they want all of this to fit into the Apple ecosystem they have already set up with other Apple devices. Apple also has plans to support third-party apps and is considering making a dedicated app store, similar to how you get apps for the Apple TV and Apple Watch. But as we get more into the details about the technology behind the Apple Glass, it gets more exciting. One such feature of the Apple Glass is what can only be described as optical subassembly. According to a patent filed by Apple, they are planning to use Apple Glass as an in-headset vision correcting system that won't need the wearer to wear prescription glasses beneath their Apple Glass. According to the patent, this optical subassembly will automatically adjust for people with poor eyesight. Gone will be the days when you'll need to get a new prescription, as devices like Apple Glass will be able to change their optical properties on the go. Another patent describes that Apple Glass will allow users to change the background of the objects they see on the fly, similar to how you can change backgrounds on video conferencing applications, like Zoom or Microsoft Teams. And this type of feature is to be expected from an augmented reality wearable device. The patent explains that this will be done using a process called chroma key, where a solid color background can be replaced with a digital background. Apple Glass will be using images from its camera and detecting color ranges to make a composite and then digitally insert virtual content. So imagine you are looking at a wall. Apple Glass can start showing you your calendar on it as you browse through it. Apple Glass will come equipped with a LiDAR scanner on the right-hand side. But up till now, Apple hasn't confirmed the mounting of a camera on the frame. LiDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging, and it is a very popular remote sensing method that uses light to draw a picture of the world around it. This type of sensor is most commonly used on driverless vehicles. LiDAR allows the sensor to map the world around it in 3D. This sensor will be at the heart of Apple Glass's ability to map the world around its user and augment digital features via its display. Another feature that is rumored to be on the Apple Glass is something that can only be described as an immersible Google Street View. The difference is that unlike Google Street View, where you see the street on your mobile device, by using Apple Glass, you will be virtually transported to that view and have a full 360-degree view of the location. Information extracted from patents also suggests that Apple may use Apple Glass to help users see better in the dark. This would be done using depth sensors that could provide the user with better spatial awareness in low light conditions. Specifications in terms of specifications, most experts agree that we can see a 52-degree field of view and 47 pixels per inch of pixel density, similar to Microsoft's HoloLens. The Apple Glass is expected to use Wi-Fi to connect directly to your phone, since, as we mentioned, it will depend on the iPhone for most of its processing. The battery life is expected to be around 3 hours on a single charge, but Apple will be providing some convenient wireless charging cases to make it feasible for users to take the Apple Glass out for a long day. Design According to leakers, the most current Apple Glass prototype looks brazenly like a regular pair of plastic glasses. This would actually be a good thing. 
The less standout design, the more people will be willing to use it as an everyday accessory, and less as a gimmicky device that they only use once to show off. Apple's own marketing materials for the Apple Glass suggest a Clark Kent look. The Apple Glass is designed as an accessory to the iPhone and not an independent device, similar to how currently the Apple Watch functions. And since it will be equipped with various sensors and electrical equipment, you can expect the Apple Glass to be a little heavier than your conventional glasses. Another exciting feature from the rumor mill suggests that Apple will be going the modular route with swappable arms of the Apple Glass frame, similar to how Apple allows its Apple Watch users to switch watch bands with different ones. It's refreshing to see Apple giving its users the option for more customizability. Reportedly, this will be done using small magnets and divots on the mainframe to help secure the swappable arms. Concerns Users do have some concerns about the privacy with the announcement of the Apple Glass. Imagine recordings of what you see and do being sent back to Apple. That is a scary thought. The patent filed by Apple does detail a couple of fixes around the privacy concern. One fix is using a camera module for the Apple Glass that is easily removable by the user if he chooses to do so. Another fix is to use a modular key as a kill switch for the camera. A lot of laptops currently use a similar system to turn off a front-facing camera on their laptops. Pricing Price estimates about the Apple Glass come from a well-reputed Apple leaker, John Prosser. According to Prosser, we can expect the price to be somewhere around $499. This is a very steep price for a device that will be dependent on the iPhone for most of its processing power. But this is still very reasonable compared to Microsoft's HoloLens, which has a hefty price tag of $3,500. But if we are fair to HoloLens, it does come with all its electronics to run an augmented reality environment independently. When can we expect a release? Well, the water is murky on the release date. According to a report by Bloomberg, we wouldn't see the Apple Glass hit the shelves until 2023 at the earliest. Apple had intended to announce that product as early as 2023. Bloomberg is basing this on information leaked from an internal presentation shown at Apple. But other industry analysts disagree. Ming-Chi Kuo, an analyst at TF International Securities, thinks that we might be seeing the Apple Glass as early as 2022. Chi has been a reliable Apple expert in the past. The information has reported that Apple Glass has already passed the prototype stage and has now entered into the trial production phase of development. This means that Apple Glass is very near its mass production phase, and we might be seeing Apple Glass in Apple stores near us soon.